Before I make this final video, I'd like to bring up Govern Mint. Govern means to control, and Mint means mind. So absolutely, mental health is instrumental in mind control, as well as the other social control mechanisms. Let us now look at the picture of the slaves on the screen in Libya. I have many other pictures that prove my point, including several other pictures of basically tall black people being singled out by social controllers, uh, the Klan, etc. They're being hung, they're being persecuted. And why is this? Well, specifically, the enemy has a chip on their shoulder when it comes to the Narmer palette. <clears throat> and this is not conspiracy theory. Obviously, it has everything to do with Egypt. It has everything to do with the Scorpion King um, being celebrated in popular culture and not Narmer or Aha, Hor Aha, um, Mene, the true first pharaoh of Egypt, who was a follower of Horus and not Set. We have the story of Set in the Bible, and many people connect this to the Nephilim uh, stories in the Bible as well. And this is just a way for people to kind of celebrate um, Set and brute force and all the martial arts brute force uh, movies that we have. We don't truly have movies that focus on a martial artist who lives an honorable life, who strikes people surgically and effectively to defend himself. We have a bunch of movies where people use brute force and beat people up in a brute force manner. The evidence is everywhere. To the point where I'm being terrorized here in America and it shows that men of little faith are little men indeed, in various ways. Of course, sometimes big men are little men. The purpose of American terrorism, or government-assisted terror activity within the United States, is to enforce cultural norms and to control sex, reproduction, and trade. Who can complain about terrorism and who can't and why? How is mental health used in the process? What is psychological warfare and how does it overlap and include uh, mental health and their various institutions and um, uh, basically control mechanisms within our society? Their desires in this case have been made clear to me. First and foremost, they want to quote-unquote suppress my point of view. Certainly, they want people to not look at me in a certain manner, not look at my family in a certain manner, but rather look at the ruling class, their families. And a lot of people don't truly understand what is very obvious, that celebrities and other rich people are related to each other quite often. Snoop Dogg has said that he's related to um, uh, this, this R&B singer, Ray J, I believe it was, and so on and so forth. I believe him and Daz are related. And this is just one small example. If people were really do their research, they'd see which presidents are related to who and who's related to who. It will become very clear that we live in a society where families, uh, for the most part, control reproduction and their allies are thrown a bone now and then and to make um, their alliances official. Historically and currently, they intermarry with each other. Keep it in the family, as they say. So they desire to bring me back to the psych ward if, if necessary as a means of social control, um, to have, uh, to make f uh, an attempt to cause me to fight to the death in a feeble attempt, okay, which will make them look good. You know, they have overcome this guy who claims that he's the top martial artist in a, in a headline, a possible headline. Um, to experiment more on me, why they're financially sabotaging me, sabotaging my love life. And when I look at how far I've gone to reach out to women, uh, how unreceptive women are, it is clear to me that the government does control the minds of people, and especially women, and men follow suit. They have made attempts to make me seem gay, and I can tell in this video that I sound less gay than I do in other videos, and the drugs and how they suppress certain mental processes associated with masculinity and aggression. Uh, and certain chemicals, there's some kind of physiological interruption that caused me to 
sound gay, have gay mannerisms, and uh, gay speech patterns. And of course, we see this commonly in the back black community, especially these days where they're acting gay. Also, this has a potential use in terms of demonizing the Black Lives Matter movement, which I do believe is a controlled opposition movement. Anyway, they want to control my reproduction, and um, I have suffered the symptoms of chemical castration. And you can imagine that somebody wouldn't lie about this, and all these symptoms occurring is not some kind of uh, um, temporal lobe seizure or some kind of uh, result of being off the medication or even a result of being on the medication. These specific symptoms that have everything to do with eugenics and very little to do uh, with, you know, and less to do with uh, side effects of psychiatric medication are specific and very characteristic of, um, specific to and very characteristic of uh, sabotage and not uh, the, the side effects of one medication alone. They also wish for me to keep making videos so they can monitor my behavior. This is part of why this will be the last video. Um, I usually wake up very irritated, hungry, and other things that are very logical reasons, you know, the, the subject matter of my videos themselves. They cause me to behave in a way that they seek to demonize and label as mentally ill. This is also uh, overlaps with the symptoms of poor people rebelling against their oppressor. They're poor, they're hungry, they're irritated. Uh, they've been provoked and had psychops run on them as they attempt to express their grievances. So interrupting communication is part of the process as well. You look at um, the different people that uh, have done shootings in the past. Um, you know, the, the Colorado shooter, Lofner, the Columbine shooters, the Fort Hood shooter, even though he was a psychiatrist or some kind of mental health professional, um, he certainly had a problem expressing himself as he was different than other people and he was from a Muslim nation. They also, uh, one, one of the possible applications of this is to get me to commit suicide or die under suspicious circumstances uh, to send a message uh, to the people who are involved and anyone else who might be aware of what is going on. They torture me with women in various ways uh, by sabotaging the love life and rubbing in who's sleeping with who and why. One tactic they like to use is to get women that I've been talking to to date other women, that's going to be date other people and to put it on their Facebook or find a way to communicate to me that they're basically dating someone else. And this, uh, to some degree, this naturally happens, but in, in this instance, in, in my case, um, it happens to a large degree and it's very blatant that it's used for psychological warfare. It shows you, the, you know, how far women will go to enforce the New World Order and the appalling lack of a willingness to uh, defy it. And obviously this goes for Americans and people in general. A main part of this is to make them look good, okay? Of course, attractive women make them look good, okay? People who give them jobs make them look good. So the society is basically rewarding people who are the biggest scum in society with women and money. This is unacceptable, it's dishonorable, it's pathetic. And obviously, this is a very dramatic and obvious example of how we're in a very evil reproductive cycle with people other than me because I'm going to end and not sleep with any more women. I see them as basically animals who have failed to find uh, the, the bare minimum acceptable degree of humanity and I'm frankly disgusted by them. I see women basically as cum rags who are soaked in the cum of the, the least righteous and least respectable people in society. They obviously wish to blame me for everything and make me feel that like it is my fault. They want me to accept an inferior philosophy and lifestyle. They say you're better off being strong in martial arts. They want that to go. You're better off doing it the Asian man's way, the white American kind of martial art way and so on um, the goddess worship the new age the pacifism as complicity uh, the greco-roman uh, myths and their variations of war shapes you know emulating them like pretty much everyone in society does uh, corporate government kind of christian perspectives etc etc basically every other perspective is an inferior perspective that they want me to take on and to ultimately when people take on these perspectives they're basically paying homage to and setting the stage for people to look up to people who share their perspective, who are commonly and in popular culture seen as uh, having a, a more respectable uh, expression of it, including actors and, and rich people and so on. They want uh, me to submit and act feminine. They want me to be submissive. Uh, they constantly threaten me with various groups as a form of provocation. And I'm not one of these crazy shooters 
So it's interesting how this is playing out, and it's certainly going to play out when you see that I'm a guy with a large degree of self-control, even though I've been drugged and harassed and all this stuff. I have no criminal record still, and this has been going on for many years. Uh, it's hard to tell, you know, as, as a rich, as, as a black person from a well-off family, it's hard to tell when this uh, stuff began because my whole life America has been trying to put me beneath them, and that is every race and every group in their own very obvious way have been trying to make it seem like their children and their people and their culture is superior to mine. Okay, And of course the Igbos are pretty much outperforming every group of people when obstacles are considered and, 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 and quite often when they're not um, does not help but I don't think that they should stop doing that you know, anyway. Um, they have plenty of evidence, the eye problems, the 16 witnesses, the weight loss, the new mannerisms the, the harassment that is likely to be a coincidence, excuse me, that is unlikely to be a coincidence. Um, there is no hope in this world or in Pandora's box. Uh, how, you know, that, and that was, uh, you know, that, that's been, it's been that way for quite some time. And how far and hopelessly lost are we are now? Psyche is said to represent the fall of the human soul in the most accurate mainstream interpretation of the story of her with Cupid. Okay. So what does that tell you about psychology, psychiatry, and the human psyche and how uh, human behavior is described uh, by these people who share the perspective of the, per of, of the deity who is said to represent the fall of the human soul in Greco-Roman mythology? Let's face it, America is cowardly, materialistic, petty, and racist. In all political matters, everyone but me obviously is putting their race, gender, sexual orientation, survival, at least their family, far above profound and important principles, Inclu and, and this includes um, their own religious principles. And I have no, I've found no exception in my time, including intensive internet searches uh, for decades. I've been interacting with people, you know, by you know, you know, really thousands and thousands of people every year, uh, and I have found no exceptions, not in the news, not anywhere, not walking down by the, you know, walking across the street, right? They all obviously openly pay homage to satanic ideas. And obviously I go to great lengths to separate me from their ideas, uh, showing my perspective, explaining why I wear these glasses, why I wear this beanie, why I'm reduced to wearing uh, this Kung Fu, Chinese Kung Fu kind of gi, um, because it doesn't truly represent my African martial art perspective, but I need to express myself as a martial artist, and there is no simple way to do that, especially when there's an emphasis on making it hard for tall people to find clothes that make them look good. It, it is a, a little man's society, okay? And even if you look at the big, the, the big Republican kind of paradigm, right? The big weightlifting Republican, the pot-bellied, uh, hillbilly kind of paradigm, right? These guys are seen as stupid hillbillies or musclehead uh, people in the gym, right? Anyway, I will stop making videos since society is just using it to see how to manipulate people like me. The controversial topics and ideas I cover, I have covered masterfully and with a large degree of insight. It's insane to say that there's some kind of mental illness uh, that needs immediate um, attention. I will withdraw from politics since people have decided to be modern day slaves. When you are not willing to risk it all for the highest principles of truth and morality, twisting even uh, the half-truths in your own religions and philosophies to avoid persecution and death, you are a slave to something or other. The most petty and greedy country in the world is not a refuge, nor is any group in it, including your family, your keeper. Think about spiraling out of control. Spy roll. Spiraling, right? To spy, right? Harassers, you know. These people can basically be described as spies in how they keep the secrets and manipulate things behind the scenes. So spiraling out of con, the con artist, and the trolls, the troll on the internet, control. Is that a coincidence? You know, is, are the 16 witnesses a coincidence? So we look at no more sense. And this is a play on words, again, for sun, so. And pay and roll words like, look at mischief, right? What happens when females get in charge? How do, how do females manage to get in charge in a society where men exert su uh, superiority, where feminists are shown flexing to say, yes, we can. They're trying to take on the man role. So it's mischief, right? It's misleading. It's misspelling. And the gospel, go spell. Go spell or misspell. Spelling, vowel, alphabet. You know, and of course, to be fair, women are taking this role because men do not man up. Uh, that's also one of the main points of this uh, harassment in my targeting is to cover up what true masculinity is because it is incompatible with American values and philosophies. True m masculinity is heroism. It is derived from Haru, a black African sub-Saharan deity. The leopard has his spots and he came up to the spot in southern Egypt in the Aswan governorate close to the border. What is the difference between a swan and a, and a goose, 
a giraffe, etc. And they're trying to make me seem like a, a gay cartoon giraffe instead of the great warrior hawk falcon with